All right, yo, what's going on all my gamers, all my Genshin gamers? So I didn't know there was a live stream. I feel like all these live streams have been like passing me by. <laughs> I never react to them uh, live because I'm always like not aware that they're happening. Also, this one, I just came home late. So it was already halfway done by the time I got home. But that's neither here nor there. Chat, you don't want to hear about all that. What you want to hear about is a Genshin 5.2 special program so i'm gonna sit here we're gonna watch a little bit of it you know we're gonna have to skip around a bit and let's see i think yeah we're still in the middle of the strike so i can't imagine any of the vas are gonna be on this panel i assume it's gonna be like localizers or something like last time those pesky localizers committed crimes that they must answer for We're like tribe of warriors adding riz and zenla zone zero patrolling and defending all of and honkai star rail and those crimes cannot go unpunished. So Ouch Khan's still managing to Ooh, discord kind of cool. even after all these years. Chaska. I hear Chaska is absolutely broken. You need a third party facilitator. That's kind of cool. In place. I'll bet the easiest person to find is. Oh, oh. I guess she's gonna be like flying around. That's kinda cool. His spirit has gotten lost. Aurora. Can't find its way back to his body. <gasps> He's here. Rescue someone. Granny won't let me. Sounds like her, yeah. Five hundred years oh. later, mystery surfaced again. The Capitan. I worry that we risk repeating the mistakes of the Cinder City. Uh, Cinder City. As long as the soul is involved, I should be able to help. Oh, what is that? Be free. She's just flying around, bro. What the hell? Wait, is this just boss just taking over different bosses? That's kind of cool. Time to say hello. It's like using barrages of different bosses. Oh, that looked cool. Does she have like a big gun. Before the final moment truly arrives, we must fight harder than ever. That can't be ten. Uh, I can't. I can't read that. <laughs> They had the thing, the whatever, what do you call it? The the thing on the screen, I so I couldn't even read what it said. Oh, Chaska. The that peacekeeper of, is I don't know how to say that word. Both parties. The ender of is all disputes. <laughs> what does well, that mean? That's only in She's going to beat cases. everybody up. Chat, look, it's Most legal. Time, it's a uh, misfortune from League of Legends. Legends. Everyone knows what she's capable of. So just, you know, with the breast reduction in childhood. When Chaska is in your party, defeating monsters oh. will restore phlogiston to your party. While she's in oh, the that's nice cool. blessing state, Chaska can ride and control her gun like a cuckoo sword. That's really cool. Wait, <laughs> just, just fly around, dude. And resistance to interruption. It also allows her to get a better angle on her enemies. Wow. Oh my that goodness. Mid-air perspective is so cool. It seems so liberating. Oh, yeah. that drains really and fast. Okay, maybe that's not as cool. In the zone. In the night soul's blessing state. I assume outside of Natlan, this is just like the wanderer. Enemies in front of her. Like it won't Unleashing be that broken. A charged attack in the state will cause Chaska to enter a special aiming mode. What? This allows her to lock on to a set number of that's enemies really within cool. range. And fire up to six shadow hunt shells, which deal animo damage upon impact. In Jeez. addition, for every pyro, hydro, cryo, or electro character in your uh -huh. party, one of Chaska's shadow hunt shells will undergo an elemental conversion to deal the corresponding type of elemental damage. Wait, Whoa, that's no way. Wait, that's busted. So what? Directly deal other types of elemental damage. Based on All right, I guess I was right. Party. There, she's absolutely broken. She's what the hell is that? She can well, I, 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 I say that she's gonna be broken. It really is gonna depend on her numbers and how. I, I, yeah, basically just her numbers, because that's that sounds insane already. But it's gonna depend on her multipliers. Time. That's awesome. Her yeah, scaling know, and right? such. Her elemental burst has a similar function too. Chaska fires a gale-splitting soul seeker shell during her burst, wow. which deals animo damage. The attack then splits into six Soul Seeker shells, which continue to attack nearby enemies. These shells can also undergo... That's kind of cool. I like that animation. Versions. That's so cool. No wonder she's one of the strongest warriors in her tribe. <laughs> yeah, she's kind of busted. Dude, Natlan characters are busted. What? The oh, right. Version 5 oh, so this is going to be kind of a filler patch, I guess you could say? High concentrations of abyssal power. I think it For is a filler people, patch. It also damages the mind. 
a filler Many patch, but with like actual planet story. Planet are suffering from if that makes sense. Repercussions of the abyss, and the tribe. Like a pause in the story Nina before we get to the next part of. Uh, After rebuilding Mal her own Malvika's tribe, plan. The collective of Plenis. Oh, Auroran. Like the Ichthomosaurus, Awakened Auroran Auroran. has the ability to rise into the air. He also has a keen another. sense of perception. While charging an aimed shot, uh -huh. Auroran will enter the spirit speaker state, allowing him to extract power from Natlan's graffiti and runes. Speaking of Auroran, <laughs> what the hell? I was honestly super what does that mean? By his personality. Wait, he could fly too. What is it with these people quest, flying? I thought that he looked like a, a young stern, man from the Masters of the Night Wind who exists in the Masters of the Night Wind. But life. as it turns out, he's just a sweet kid. Yeah, he's, he's a dumbass. Kind of honestly, you know, right? honestly, if you if you've seen the story, he's an idiot really mostly. Sweet, though, just to think about all the sneaking around behind his granny's back. Ah, uh, <laughs> true. The tribes people of the Masters of the Night wow. Wind are known for being eccentric. But Auroran really takes it to the But what next does Auroran's level. kit yeah, look like? That's what I want to like know. He bro. does things his own way. I wow. wonder if that extends to his combat abilities. Okay, here we go. It does. Auroran is a bit different from the Natland characters we've met so far. He doesn't need to depend on the Night Soul's blessing state to gain Night Soul points. Okay. And he can maintain the Night Soul's blessing state even while he's off field. Ah, that's Oh, is he going to be like an off field support or something? Characters. So, how do his abilities work? Let me start by explaining how Auroran gains Night Soul points. Uh -huh. This can happen in multiple ways. For example, Auroran can gain Night Soul points when one of his party members triggers a Night Soul burst. He can also gain them when other party members deal Hydro or Electro attacks to enemies after Auroran unleashes his Elemental skill. Oh, okay. then it sounds like he works well with Hydro and Electro characters. <laughs> yep. And in combat, when enemies take damage from electro charged reactions right. or other party members deal Night Soul aligned damage, Auroran can consume Night Soul points to enter the Night Soul's blessing state and trigger the Hypersense effect, dealing electro damage. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. That's so kind of cool. Him with the right characters if you want him to gain Night Soul points, enter the Night Soul. Oh, it just like shocks everyone around him? Uh, exactly. So That's I okay. Mentioned that Auroran doesn't need to be on the field to trigger the hypersense effect. Wait. Wait. He so does even while he's off? Field? Okay. Yeah. He is. A, he's an off-field really sub useful. DPS. Gotcha. Oh, gotcha. His gotcha. Elemental burst provides a convenient way to deal damage and support. Uh, your okay. Auroran performs an ancient reach roll with his Yeah. Burst okay. So he is an off-field sub DPS. Uh, only thing is gonna be again with him, just like with Chaska, it's gonna depend on his numbers. It looks like it makes constant DP. It looks like it does constant damage. It's just really going to depend on how many characters he could actually hit because it only shows two people on the field. So if he could hit like everybody near you, I, I guess if there's not a limit to how many people can hit, it seems pretty good. But uh, again, it's going to depend on how much damage he's going to do. He could be kind of like a good off field. I don't know. Maybe like a sub DPS to hate them or something and do like help with the dendro damage and stuff like that. And a supersonic Oculus, which taunts nearby the enemies Oculus. to draw them in. Once wow. they're up close, the Oculus releases a sound wave to deal damage. That should be great. You say you taunt control. them? Yes. With oh, it does. Your party, dealing with large groups of enemies should be a lot easier. And speaking uh, of taunts are pretty easier, okay. Auroran can also improve the exploration experience by boosting the gliding speed of your characters. Oh, that's awesome. kind of cool. Auroran really cherishes his friends. With a little teamwork on his side, I'm sure victory will always be within reach. <sighs> cool. So we he does sound pretty cool. I, I I will say he sounds pretty good as a sub, di sub DPS. I just really gotta see how he win. he plays. But there's more. Or not how he plays, but like how his damage feels. While exploring some oh, it's of the abyssal land? monsters here Ooh. can distort their appearance to mimic Oh, it's an abyss monster. Enemies. That's kind of cool. High-level monsters such as the Tenebris Papilla can mimic even stronger enemies. Uh-huh. It looks like these monsters take the form of plants outside of combat. Yep, that's true. The abyss has corroded Natland's ley lines, allowing these monsters Wait, to is this read a, the memories Are these not bosses? Is this not the boss? creatures from Tevat. How do we defeat them? Travelers will need to Beat use his ass. elemental mean, how? attacks to break the enemy's protective void wards. Doing oh, so allows them to take okay. damage and causes them to enter a brief state of confusion. Night Bro, do you see how much she shoots? It's actually really not effective against these wards. Wow, the abyss has gotten what? so advanced. 
to scare yeah, it's a new boss. How much harder these fights will get. This is probably going to be for like Chaska's yeah. materials, I assume. Okay, that was a lot of information to take in at once. But before we take our first break, we still have a uh -oh. couple of short announcements. Really okay. short, I promise. Sure. First up, limited time expiration rewards will be available in version 5.2. Just like in version 5.1, okay. travelers can earn up to 400 extra Primo Ooh. gems. And the rewards will be available all the way through version 5.3. Nice. It's now time to introduce the event wishes. In the first half of uh, version 5.2, oh, it's a Lenny rerun. travelers can look forward wow. to event wishes from Chaska and Auroron. Auroron will also I think I do want Chaska. She does seem kind of busted. I'm not going to lie. second half of version 5.2, We'll have returning event wishes uh, for Zhongli and New Villette. The weapon banner they got the gilf. <laughs> they, got, Astro they got the gilf Plumage banner, bro. The old, the, the OG Sun banners. Weapons. The Be old sure man. To check them out if you're interested. All right. New it's weapons? Time for oh, four stars? Break. Okay. Uh, Once we come back, we'll dive right into the event. I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, four star weapons are okay-ish. It's just going to really depend on how well they scale, question mark. Welcome back, travelers. Welcome back. Let's dive straight into the event section. So in the oh. first event, we'll get to learn more about the masters of the night wind. It's That's right. In the version spirit five point two event, scrolls? show me spirit seeking scrolls. Oh, uh, a weapon. That weapon looks Auroran sick, actually. Of a mysterious accident Wait, that that's cool. Their tribe. Even Travelers if that sword sucks, like, it looks really cool. I actually like that design. To the They'll also need to reconstruct scenes from the tribe's woven scrolls and gather lost spirits scattered throughout I feel like we've done this before. Travelers will only be able to uncover the truth if they collect all the clues. Okay, don't cool. Worry, That's not too bad. There are also various rewards to earn along the way. Hey, did you send money? <laughs> Ooh, I really I'm like mad the at that baby. I'm mad at it. It looks like Sitlali is performing some kind of ritual. It's also mysterious. She's going to sacrifice us. When gets tough, it's Granny to the rescue. Chat when the gra <laughs> go chat when the Definitely. goth Granny Sit sacrifices your soul, you say yes. Really fun well, she's not really goth, but, you know. The I'm drunk, the the drunken Granny. When the drunken Granny the sacrifices rest. your They're soul, you say yes. a two-person show. And speaking of fun, let's I love Sit Lolly, bro. Gameplay. She's such First a silly character. The search for Lost Spirits mini game. I hope she's Travelers actually voiced. To work together to herd the scattered roaming spirits into specific That's kind of cool. To earn points. I really, I kind of like that they're having a little bit more multiplayer events. Like they're starting to actually get some use out of multiplayer. Uh, the last event I think from this patch? Question mark from before 5.2. I think 5.1. I think there was a multiplayer event that was kind of cool. I just, I mean, all I did was I used Farina and I just let, <laughs> I just let, I just killed everything while everyone around me tried to do damage. It was pretty cool. Pay attention to the conditions on the field if you want a higher score. For example. Travelers can jump on stone slabs that appear on the field. These slabs will break open and release even more spirits. Storms may also appear during the game. Okay. You can track down spirits more effectively if you pay attention to the direction of the storms. In Evil Banisher, travelers will need to select the right teams to complete the objectives. Completing oh, so it's just a fighting one. Objectives will award you the That's an aura, interesting which team. Which allows you to deal AOE damage by spraying paint uh, and enemies. Yeah, that no, that makes sense. Really matches the I, I, I was like wondering how aesthetic. good that team was, but yeah, it's I, I, I can cool. see it. Yeah, and I would so have choose the Shogun over official, but it's not that bad. I guess they just didn't want to put a uh, five star in there. Travelers will need to piece these fragments together and assemble them on a woven scroll. Oh God, Make I'm gonna sure suck at this chat. I'm not gonna lie to you. I positions of the fragment. <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of making Call of Duty emblems, and I'm gonna be honest, I sucked at that. Oh, there's something else that we should mention. Travelers can obtain a new four-star sword by completing this event. The design is that another fits the four star? Of the night wind. It looks like some that looks kind like a of second four-star weapon. Artifact. I that does look agree. cool though. I do. Oh, I do. No, no, no. It's the first one we showed. Travelers to learn more about Natland's secrets. For example, this quest will reveal yes. new clues yeah, about it's the same mysterious, one. mysterious. It looks cool. Legendary. Place, I'm not gonna lie. It looks pretty cool. Mayor Javari. Wow, we've been hearing about this place since Mondstadt. Mondstadt. It'll be nice to get some new information. Mm -hmm. On a related note, the Adventurers Guild has prepared a new trial for its members. Wow. Active adventurers have been invited to take on the challenge, including the traveler. Travelers will need Gasp. to complete various challenges with designated characters <laughs> and fully cool. leverage their skills to earn rewards. I know you're up to the challenge, travelers. 
Good luck. I kind of like these Mondstadt events related, where you like the Knights of Favonius run around. Not, a war game to improve not bad. Security tactics in the Exercise region. searching storm. Is this just like a fighting one? Tactics than the honorary knight. Be sure to pay close attention to the game since the format has changed to this time. Oh? Travelers will need to select combat units and stratagems to deploy against the opponent. I'm using formation. Pokemon. Once the lineup is set, the monsters will fight automatically. Available combat units and stratagems oh. are completely random. Okay. You know, just to build some unpredictability into the war game. The chances of encountering elite combat units increases as the war game Is this against other people Even or more elite monsters will against be available for travelers to use? AI. It's a volatile environment. So do your best to win as many rounds That's as possible. That's kind of cool if they're making like more PVP. I assume this is just against AI, but All it would right. be cool if it was Let's like PVP. Excitement rolling in this next event. Cuz it would we be pretty demo, fair that there's so no Please take a look. Uh what do you call it? Oh, looks like they're selecting It's not tactics. characters against each other. It's just like damage. That stuff that they powerful. supply you. Is that Gwent? Whoa, it's automated. Chat, look, it's Gwent. Cool. The elemental reaction effects are completely different. Wow. This brand new heated battle mode is called Automatic Artistry. Powerful support cards have been added for nearly every elemental My reaction. My deck has no pathetic Choose cards, cards Kaiba. Choose with your strategies to trigger powerful elemental reactions. The elemental heroes, it's time to throw down play. and get your game addition, on. The overall gameplay is very laid back. Characters will automatically duel each other and Shin skill Cho have animations 31 HP? How did that happen? Wow, it's like we got a Why does everyone have so much HP? HP? Holy shit. After coming back from Natland. Talk about Whiplash. Time to play some Gwent. <laughs> right. Chat, Even do you want to play some Gwent? Played Genius Invocation before, I really recommend checking out this new gameplay mode in version 5.2. Wow. The new version will also bring a few Seizuring. updates to regular Genius Invocation TCG. Do you ever feel was Rosario like always in the in the card game, or was she games? not in there well, before? Don't I don't, I don't really know. That. I haven't played it Our since next it released. Event will give travelers the opportunity to enjoy the great outdoors. Cool. In Claw Convoy, travelers will need to help Lamia track down some adopted animals. Travelers will be oh. able to see the animal's point of view by using a special tool. Once you've managed to deduce their location, you'll be able to track That's them down. That's funny. Once the animals are safe and sound, travelers will receive a gift from the mysterious figure who adopted them. Oh, I feel like Oran would really it, What is that? <laughs> is that a little hotel? An what is that? That's kind of cool. <laughs> I can see that. Wait, I want this as like actual merch. Can I get this as actual merch, chat? That would be great. I'm sure that he would. Wait, I love this. I love hotel. Animals from other nations. Yeah. Give Finally, me hotel merch. Oh yeah, leyline overflow and um, whatever the other one would be. Mora or character exp or is that it? Is it just leyline overflow? Right. No, there's the Let's book one. Some updates and I was thinking of a uh, planetary sphere, First but that's Hawkeye or Hawkeye Star theater. Rail. Previously, travelers would be returned to the theater lobby after completing a challenge right. and have to reopen the Fantasia Tome to continue. Yeah, I didn't understand that. I didn't really care, but yeah. Interrupted their experience, so. This will no longer be the case in version 5.2. Why was that now, ever a thing? A battle, Actually, I can't lie. I did like it just because I, I, I'm really, I, I'm kind of weird and I like talking to the other characters. So when I got in there, I was like, oh, I see Arla Chino because I just used her. I kind of want to know what she says. All you need to do is click. I enjoyed next it at least. If you want to keep fighting. <laughs> nice. Oh, so Travelers you can still can leave if you want to. Okay, that's kind of cool. Any interruptions. And for all the generous travelers, I didn't. Like I didn't finish last time. Friends, I really got to make another character like level ninety, because man, I ran out of check people. Which friends have borrowed your supports by looking at the supporting cast. Kachina. Cool. It'll be nice to know that our supports are. I have no friends out. in this game. Yep. Oh, and the party <laughs> configuration mechanic has also been optimized. No one can use my units. I take my. I take my secrets with me. <laughs> elemental statistics and markers for the main types of animals. Emperor of the fire. That is so helpful. Cold flame. I'll occasionally put together tyrant. a random team if I've just started experimenting with some characters, mm. but. This information should make it a lot easier to form strategic teams. I'm just going to brute force it. I'm not going to lie. Display key information on how to counter enemies, mm. but in a much more prominent position. Mm. Hopefully, this change will make it that. easier for travelers to form the best teams. Cool. Yes. Now we can directly see which elements work best against specific enemies. That's I could have told you that. definitely going to save some time. For sure. And we can expect even more optimizations in the future as travelers sure. continue to provide valuable feedback about their experience. I would say this is unnecessarily okay. hard, but Let's I'm the one who puts myself into the hardest thing, in so that's my fault. You can outsort five-star artifacts in your inventory based on when you obtain them, from the most recent to the oldest. Second, 
The animations Why couldn't for you do that before? materials, forging weapons, building furniture, and cooking dishes are now shorter in length. That's really okay, nice. Okay, sure. The dev team designed a lot of intricate animations for these features, but it can feel a bit frustrating when you have to watch them over and over again. There will also be several optimizations for the Serena teapot. The seed <laughs> dispensary can now hold more of every type of seed. You'll be able to purchase. Oh, I forgot about that. I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I don't use my pot. I In use addition, my teapot to just get the like the, the gold, and then just use seconds. whatever. This way, it'll be easier. They need to upgrade the teapot. Play. I'm not gonna lie. Awesome. I've just so you can actually have some cool stuff in, in there. Because my teapot is somewhat so barren really it just helpful. has enough nice. to get me so excited for the max oh, and coin rewards have been made to artifact locking the oh. updated lock assistance interface will allow you to configure lock settings with a single click use recommended hit, settings use recommended settings and you're set what the are the settings set lock plans will even update automatically based on popular in-game configurations okay of course if you have your own ideas in mind then you can always disable the recommended plans to configure custom ones instead. The update sure. also allows you to batch lock artifacts Why? in your inventory based on the recommended general lock plan and uh -huh. set lock plans. This will make it much faster to organize your inventory. Cool. In addition, a shortcut button that navigates to the lock assistance interface will be added to the artifact domain challenge screen and the domain artifact expansion. acquisition screen. This should make it easier for travelers to configure their locking rules whenever okay. they want. A star feature will also be added next to the lock button on each artifact. Travelers can use this feature to mark their favorite artifacts and filter by stars to quickly track them down. Okay. Finally, treasure compasses will now be able to locate even more treasure locations, including sealed I need to I need to actually use that. A quick swap feature will also be added for treasure compasses and Oculus Resonance stones. Enabling what? this feature will allow travelers to more easily use these devices across regions. The feature will wow. automatically switch to the compass or stone that corresponds to your location in the game. Awesome. Be sure to check out future cool. announcements. That seems like a pretty good stopping point. Again, this patch seems like a filler patch. I mean, they literally said it's an inter intermission patch or the, the quest is an intermission quest. So not too much happening here. Chaska, on the other hand, seems really, really busted. Auroron... It's going to really depend on his numbers. He seems okay. I could say, think of a couple situations where you could want him. But Chaska definitely looks busted. I think Chaska is probably going to be the best part about this. But this patch does seem like it has a decent amount of stuff in it for being a filler patch. Like, there's a few stories in it. The events seem kind of cool. The boss seems, eh, it's whatever. You know, a boss is a boss. Uh, the new There's going to be new areas to explore. So, it definitely, for a filler patch, not like... Fontaine's filler patch where they literally just gave you nothing but I think character quests and that's kind of it This actually does seem kind of cool So for a filler for Natland's first filler patch, I'm not mad It could definitely be worse. Yes, it is a filler patch on 5.2, but We at least know that there's gonna be more to the story Probably next patch, just because, you know, we have known that next, what we have to do is, you know, join Malvika for people who have played the story. So, I'm not mad at it. I will say, though, uh, Chaska, again, <laughs> does not seem balanced. But, you know, if you guys are going to get her, I'd say get her because the flying thing seems nuts. It seems like it'd be nuts in Natland, outside of Natland. I can't really say I would have to actually play her outside of Natland to tell you how it is, you know, I will say that Shalonen outside of Natland still seems kind of nice to use with her ability and her skates. So Chaska might be the same, but she might just be like another wanderer. Her damage is nuts, but that's about it. I think, yeah, I think the patch is, looks okay. The story is going to really, we're going to have to really see how the story is anyways. You know, comment, like, and subscribe, chat. Let me know how you feel. Are you excited for 5.2? Are you going to get Chaska? Come back and subscribe and I will catch you gamers in the next one. Bye. In the light,